Okay, let's look at this Neurotrack MyoPlus Pro. This is a single channel EMG and a single channel stimulator. Can be used EMG only, stimulation only, or ETS, which is basically EMG triggered stimulation. On the device here, we have a welcome screen. And here we have our on off button, our home screen, a return, set, and over here we have auto and start. This also controls our amplitude of the stimulation. Here is our threshold buttons, and this will allow us to increase and decrease the threshold where the patient has to try and attain a particular threshold by doing a contraction. If we look here at ETS, we can see that this screen quite easily shows us that we've got uh, EMG being read. If I press this button, we can see here we've got a mode which is classic, the start time and the rest time. And we use a down arrow here and we can see ETS um, stim time, our trials and our pulse width. I step on down and you can see the frequency, the ramp up, ramp down time. And typically the ramp down time will be lower than the ramp up. That is so that the current does not go from zero directly to what we have it set at. The pulse width and the frequencies are set according to whatever you're trying to stimulate. The stimulation time again is decided when we look at our work time and our rest time. The trials, um, we have it set here for 20, but bear in mind that if you're working on a pelvic floor, 20 trials at 10 to 15 seconds stimulation or contraction is quite a lot of hard work for the pelvic floor and fatigue may set in. So here we've got NETS and we have Classic. I suggest you start with Classic as this is what we're really looking to do. When you're happy with these settings, you press Done and it brings you back to here. You can, of course, always hit the eye and the eye, when you go into the condition and the app um, caption, the application, you can actually see what it's about. The same with every other setting on the device. When we're happy here, we can press start and the only way we can actually start is that we must press this button to increase the stimulation to something that is comfortable but strong for the patient otherwise the device doesn't start on its work rest here it's in a rest period and it will then soon come up and say work and that is when your patient is told to contract if they don't reach this threshold line during the work period the device has been set to automatic and we can ask it to drop the attaining of the threshold. Or if we hit the threshold too easily, we can simply adjust the threshold here. And again, you can see we're not attaining this. Now I'm dropping the threshold so that whenever we do um, the next piece of work, we should be able to, by me simply tapping this and not applying an uh, a electrode, we should be able to hit stimulation. And you can see here, we've got stimulation. You cannot measure EMG while stimulating because then you would be measuring the stimulation current and not the actual muscle activity. So we can never measure EMG output whilst we're in a stimulation phase. At any stage, all you have to do is hit ETS back and you will stop the session.